everybody, welcome back to Anderson's TV. We are hopefully, I say we, this is Digital John. Digital John. How's it going? Um, uh, we're going to hopefully try and explain to you very quickly the four cable method. Uh, it is not a new thing. Not at all. No. Uh, I <laughs> vaguely remember talking about the four cable method even, you know, 15, 20 years ago on very old uh, guitar effects units. But it is a way of taking a multi effects unit doesn't have to be uh, something as sophisticated as the quad cortex, nope. um, but it's a way of taking a unit like this and incorporating it with a traditional guitar amplifier like this. You need, he says, it's like a recipe thing, isn't it? you need <laughs> half a pound of butter, uh, a pound of flour and some eggs. No, you need, you need a, a multi effects unit with its own effects loop. Yep. Okay, and you need a guitar amp with its own effects loop. And ideally, you need a guitar amplifier where the effects loop is before the master volume uh, on the amplifier, which is how most of them are done, but not necessarily how all of them are done. Yeah. So Mr. John, mm -hmm. we now have to imagine, perhaps, I don't suppose you can, but perhaps Pete can do this using some sort of special animation. He definitely won't, but I'm just saying. Uh, you have to imagine what we're now about to do with the guitar amplifier is separate the preamp and the power amplifier into two distinct parts of the signal. The preamp is now going to appear as a, as a block, one of the, the effects blocks within the quad cortex. And actually the, the, the graphic that quad cortex used to signify the, uh, what's going through the effects loop is this little sort of infinite snake eating itself thing, yeah. this one here. Um, and the power amp is going to be at the end of the chain. So what's happening here, and, I, and I'll, I'll tell you how it's rooted in a minute. Guitar comes in, you then elect to put whatever effects and malarkey you decide to want on it from your multi effects unit. Yep. One of those effects blocks is going to be essentially the preamp of the amp. Yep. And then we're going to go all the way out the other end. And one of the things that is cool on the quad cortex that you may not be able to do on, you know, your average common garden gnome version of a multi effects unit is we've got an output coming to the power amplifier of the guitar amplifier yep. that doesn't have any cabinet emulation on it. And then we've got a second output, which is going out of these two straight to the desk, which does have the cabinet emulation on it meaning that your professional kind of gigging setup, you can still have all your favorite IRs and everything going straight to front of house, mm -hmm. but you can just have good old fashioned valve juicy goodness going through your cab on stage. Yeah. I've talked a lot, John. Okay. Um, would you like to just uh, give a quick indication of like maybe turning like a sound <clears throat> without the uh, preamp of this sure. and then kicking it in like you might with a sort of a drive pedal. Yeah, so I've set this up with scenes. We're in C mode at the minute. Here with this red amp, that's just a jazz chorus type and that is gonna go through all of these and here's how it sounds. We've got delay and reverb on. We can bring in drives and chorus, but here's the jazz chorus anyway. <laughs> And for the first time ever in a Digital John video, you just heard that through an actual guitar yeah. cabinet. Oh my Imagine. gosh. Yeah, so we're yeah. just using a guitar cabinet behind us and miking it up like mm -hmm. you would in old fashioned ways. Yes. In fact, let's now just mute the volume on here, turn the volume down on here, do the same thing again. And now what you're actually hearing is the front of house, like the DI yeah. sound from here. Coming through an IR within the QC. Perfecto. Uh, let's go back to, uh, we'll mute the speakers in the room and we'll go back to hearing this. Of course, they both come out simultaneously in yeah. the real world. Uh, and now let's have a, another scene where maybe we want to use the, the preamp of the amp, which I think, yes, I've got just on the sort of a, a relatively cranked first channel of the, of the Kraken. Yep. Yeah, so here, as I'm going back on scene A, you'll see that it goes from that amp block to the effects loop, so it engages that. So now we're going into the Kraken. Here's that.
Now this is where I'm going to tell you about the routing because you can go onto Google, type four cable method in and it will absolutely show you, but this is how it works. The guitar is plugged into, oh, it's plugged into a Kemper, no, it's not really. <laughs> um, it's plugged in here, it's plugged into yep. the input of the multi effects unit, that's normal, mm -hmm. okay? Then what happens, the send of the multi effects unit is going to the input of the guitar amplifier. Then, if I flip this round, and I'm suddenly realizing, of course, what I should have done was use all different colored cables, and then you'd see. So on the back of the amplifier, this is mains and the speaker lead, that's normal, okay? But the um, send of the guitar amplifier is going back to the return yep, of right. the quad cortex, and then the output of the quad cortex is coming to the return of the amplifier. Yeah. A lot of use of the word send and returns there, mm -hmm. and you are entirely forgiven to being confused already, but uh, look it up and that's what you do. So it's called the four cable method because you need seven cable, no, four <laughs> cables. Yeah. And it seems really overwhelming, but most of the time people put them in a loom, so it's like one strand and then yeah. just separate at the end. So it's really simple. Hypothetically though, although theoretically whatever, I'm now, uh, the, the actual plugging in of it, I think, is like the most complicated bit because now I'm just looking at the routing on the multi effects unit. And again, you can do this on Helix, yeah. or Cortex. I'm sure you can do it on most um, multi effects units. The routing is quite simple. Guitar comes in here. Have whatever you want as pedals that you might want to have um, before it hits the, uh, the preamp. preamp in here. Yeah. Then choose do you want this? to make the sound of a guitar amplifier? Mm -hmm. Or would you like this to make the sound of the guitar amplifier? And then that's just your choice about, do you have a, you like yeah. John did, do you have the JC120 patch or do you have the, the Kraken here? Yeah. After that, what do you want? Do you want uh, reverbs, delays, anything else that mm -hmm. you might want after that? And then finally, the routing bit, the final, final routing is, are we sending the sig, what signal are we sending back to the power amp here versus what signal are we sending to the uh, guy on front of house? Yeah. That's kind of it. And I do think it's a really nifty solution for anybody that's going, I would like a cab on stage. You know, I'd like to hear a cab on stage and I don't want to have to go and buy um, like a Seymour Duncan power stage yeah. or something like that as a dedicated power amplifier because I've already got a guitar amplifier. Yeah. And I really like the sound. If you've got an amp that you really like the sound of, you know, maybe you've got a 5150 or, or a Kraken or a, a a, a, a Marshall JVM or something mm -hmm. with a really good gain channel. Yeah. And you're still finding that, that that actual amp gain channel is still maybe your preferred sound as opposed to perhaps a, an emulation of that channel. Um, so yeah, if you want to play around a bit, just cool. let's get some, get some tones and we'll, I think what we'll do is we'll monitor, we'll monitor the, the, the DI output and the cabinet all the time. And then we'll just during edit, we'll let, the sound man say you're now hearing x or y and you know and then we can just cool. focus on the playing i think so let's i don't know adding some chorus maybe so at the minute we're going into let's just say jazz chorus Back to the Kraken with, I think this is a, yeah, Brit Blues, so Blues Breaker. Uh, if we didn't want that, what's it just like on its own? So what I can do, this is the bit where it's just like using an amp. If if I wanted to, um, so the EQ on the amplifier is on uh, this amplifier, and I think probably on most amplifiers prior to the effects loop. 
so the EQ is working on the block, if yes. you like, rather than on the power amp section. Um, but of course, what I can do now, if I wanted to, and I, and I bet you, if we were really clever, we could probably get the quad cortex to chain to control the channel switching yeah. on the amplifier as well, <laughs> couldn't we? But we haven't rigged it up like that. I could elect to go, here's a clean sound with the quad cortex. Uh, maybe I'd just rather have um, channel two. So I've kind of got all the sounds that this can do, yep. plus all the channels that this can do. And again, you'll know from the effects, the multi-effects unit you've got yourself, if one of the outputs is a control output, and I'm sure Helix does it, um, this I'm sure does it, and I'm sure all the fractal stuff does mm. it as well. You, you could conceivably also be changing the channel of your amplifier. Yeah from within the patch that you're on as well, which is kind of bonkers. And so you, you get a power amp out of it, so you can drive some cabs. Yeah, so, that, so you can see why the four cable method is popular. I kind of feel, Mr. John, I'm just gonna go back to channel one mm -hmm. and just let you just pick out three or four of your favorite kind of quad cortex C effects to add in cool. and just noodle. Let's noodle it. Yeah, don't look up. You're just seeing Pete doing squat thrusts in the corner. It's Bring fine. in some drive. <laughs> switch the, the Kraken off within here and change this JC120 to be like mm -hmm. a 5150 or Good. whatever, you know, like, as in just a different gainy amplifier. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, lead or rhythm? <laughs> whatever you like, man. Let's I mean, it's up to you. Let's go rhythm. Let's see. So... <laughs> They're very similar. Is that a boost? Yep. So this is the PV emulation. Back to the Kraken with the same boost. Fair play, it does make you realise how good some of the the yeah. emulations are in the crack in I the, mean, on the DI. I can't speak on the on yeah. the uh, quad cortex. On the DI, probably you could hear a bit more detail, but yeah, I mean, in the room, they feel very similar, don't they? Mm. Bit of EQ, a little bit, a little bit loud. I think the the internal one's set a bit louder, isn't it? But mm. hey, look, there we go. We just wanted to sort of. I mean, I said this is not a new concept for cable method. It's just very cool, and hopefully, we've uh, given a quick rundown of, of, of how it works yeah. and how you might use it. Uh, thank you, John. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe to this crazy channel if you like guitar videos. Uh, and uh, I guess we'll all see you in another video soon. Probably like right now if you just want to watch the next one. <laughs> Bye. Next week it's seven and nine Gabriel methods. <laughs> <laughs>